Hey guys, it's Miss Kelso. I'm here today to be showing you another activity. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do pull string art. The supplies that you will need is some cloth string, some scissors, a paintbrush, colors of your choice. I picked pink, red, orange, and green. Some thick paper. This is called cardstock. And something heavy to put on top of your paintings. So the first step is grabbing your string, cutting it at a pretty long length, enough that you can paint on top of and be able to pull it out still. Then we're going to take one of our extra pieces of paper and we're going to put our colors on it the way uh, we would like it to show on our painting. So I'm going to put my red on and you're going to want quite a bit. And then my orange. Some pink. And then some green. Alright. And then we're going to take our string. We're going to lay it in the paint. Might get a little messy, but that's okay. Gonna push it in there. We're gonna take our paintbrush. I'm gonna make sure that it covers the top of our string. So you're just gonna take that paint and dab it on top, okay? Just like so. And it's okay if your colors get mixed together. It'll kind of create like a nice uh, gradient between them. It'll help them kind of blend really nicely. So we'll put the green on our string as well. Like so. I'm going to take a blank piece of paper. Move this aside. Take your string that you just painted over. it in kind of a pattern that you like. So I'm going to just add a little twist in mine right there. Take your other piece of paper, lay it on top, press down, and then take your heavy object, push down on it, take the end of your string, and pull, just like so. Then, you take your heavy book off or whatever you're using and open your painting. This should have something like that, something cool. So we can use, um, and then you can go through and do this more than once for sure. So we'll go ahead and put more paint onto my string. Just kind of get it all on there. Like so. Clean it up. Lay it down however you want. You can 
do this as many times as you want. If you wanna get a new string because you don't like how your colors are meshing out, that's totally cool too. But it's supposed to kind of create like a cool, um, like abstract looking flower. try to experiment with different sizes of string or if you pick a new string you can put new colors on it um, there's lots that you can do with this or try to laying your string out in different shapes I personally find that like laying it in kind of an S shape seems to work the best effect going on. Sometimes they can be really hard to pull out too. For some reason. So, there we go. Beautiful. And just quickly show you guys my other practice example that I did when I was testing this out. This one I used blue, pink, and purple. And it came out really pretty. What's cool is that they're also mirrored when you have the two pieces of paper down. And then you can display them in your home or give it to your favorite person. All right, thank you so much guys, see you later.